In today's video, I've reworked the shop system to work with the updated loadout system, as well as including some more features for the shop. Before we start, thank you for all the support and suggestions. I really appreciate it. Also, it should be noted that you need to use the updated loadout system to be able to use the updated shop system. So if you're using the old loadout system, you can use the original shop system that I made on this channel. Now, in the description, you will find a free model. Once you have the free model inserted into your game, open it up, and ungroup everything into their assigned places. Before you do that though, delete the main GUI that's inside of starter GUI, as we will be replacing it with the updated one. I will do that right now. After you've ungrouped everything into their assigned places, don't forget to enable the data store inside of the game settings so the player's coins can save. To enable the data store, Go to the game settings, security, and turn this on. Then press save. One more thing that you'll need to do is go into replicated storage, weapons, and you'll need to create the string value inside of each weapon folder called price, which I'll do right now. And lastly, you can set any value to be the price of the weapon. I'll set the price values now. After you've done that, there's one more thing that you'll need to know. If you go to Service Script Service and open up the leader stats, if we look over here, these are the weapons that the player will automatically have when they first play. So the player will have the auto blaster, the blaster, and the knife. Now you're all set. Let's play test it. As soon as we load in, we can see a new button that says shop. If you click on the button, you will now be in the shop. The primary, secondary, and melee buttons will now show all of the available weapons for purchase in that category. For instance, if we click on a weapon that we already own, this message will pop up. Though, if we click on a weapon that we do not own, if we press the purchase button in the top right, the confirmation frame will pop up. When this frame pops up, we can either choose to confirm the purchase or cancel it. If we press confirm when you don't have enough coins, this message will pop up. But if we do have enough coins, for instance for the Burst Blaster, if we press confirm, we will now own the Burst Blaster. And if we go back to the loadout, we will now see the Burst Blaster in our inventory. And now we can select it. Now if I press deploy, I will have the Burst Blaster as my secondary weapon. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and commenting down below your video suggestions. And lastly, don't forget to vote in the weekly polls. Thanks for watching.